lockdown since October, and according to the BBC, it's the world's longest one. But if you take a look around, you'll see it's not exactly strict. In fact, we've been kiting this entire time. In other news, we got a puppy. Ah, come on. <laughs> Meet Tara. <laughs> Full name Tara Bite, which seems to be quite fitting. <laughs> she is a future kite dog, and we're just getting her used to being on the beach with us. We will introduce you to her in a little bit more detail, but first I'm gonna go for a spin. <laughs> beautiful day today, it's about 30 degrees Celsius, but if you take a look around, we're all in winter wetsuits. In fact, I'm in a five millimeter wetsuit today. Um, that's because the water is extremely cold. It's about five degrees Celsius. It's kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time. The cold water and the hot air is what gives us the doming effect, which gives us really amazing jumps as there's a lot of wind upstairs. I just was out on the 13 meter Sonic and I was boosting much higher than I expected to. <laughs> Didn't exactly land most of those jumps, didn't know what to do with the kite at that point. There was just so much hang time. But dropping the guy down too low, there's no wind at the bottom. And I did swim twice. Luckily, Sergey came out and helped me relaunch the first time. And then the second time, there was just absolutely no wind. It died completely. So nice cold swim in, and here I am, ready to go for round two. Timing is off today. I don't know what's going on, but it's I'm not having a lot of fun. Like it's just I'm bailing everywhere, losing my board. I don't know. Anyways, you have these kind of days. Also, some unfortunate launching accidents. We saw some pretty epic bales today. Uh, just one of those days, not for the faint of heart. This spot is definitely not a beginner friendly spot, and it really does test even the intermediate kiters, as we saw today. For those curious, you can't launch from the water as there's no wind at the surface level. You have to pre inflate your kite and run back to launch. This Russian launch is like Russian roulette, as you simply don't know how much wind is above. The wind sensor at the Yacht Club, which sits at about 15 meters height, can show 9 to 12 knots, but with line length of 26 to 30 meters, you can reach winds of 20 to 25 knots. The wind stays about 500 meters, mostly offshore, reaching the shore for brief amounts of time with strength ranging anywhere from 0 to 25 knots. So today was just one of those days. The forecast looked really solid and then it 
unfortunately just wasn't that great. Um, everywhere had wind except here and when it did come in it was pretty far from shore. There was really not a whole lot here and it was doming like crazy. So that meant if you dropped the kite a little bit too low, you were swimming. It also meant that the wind might just shut off suddenly, which meant you were swimming. <laughs> in total, I had three swims, all of which were extremely cold. Thankfully today, Sergey and his wife Yulia brought their paddleboard to the beach and it definitely came in handy in terms of rescues. Alright guys, another typical day at our home spot. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!